What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dope Randy, back at it again with another video. As this time, we're going to be doing the O'Reilly Auto Ports 125 from Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas. The last time we went to the la last race we did, we went to. Pocono, that's the track, and we had a good, solid day. I've been saying that ten thousand times. It feels like, but we've had a we had a good solid day. Top fives throughout the board, fifth, fourth, and we got second in the race. It was a good battle between me, Luke, and Major Spy, but a crazy. Lap 39 out of 40 costed us the race, but I'll take I would take it in stride. What I would not take in stride though is that is this stupid wreck on the get go. Cause I don't know what the hell. Oh, that 31. Okay, bet. I don't know what the hell that was, but that was abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. So I can just get a feel for how this race is going to be. Oh, and this thing is loose. Six laps to go. As, but just trying to get a good qualifying spot, but that can't happen, it seems like. As I just can't get around a corner without this thing snapping loose. We're back to P17. We're finally behind Marcus in the 11, and let's see if we can get a good Q run. As I just pound the wall. Completely taking the L. Marcus is going high. Hits the wall. We save him. Oh, I save him. We keep it going. We're going to have to get a better lap than this. This thing is just incredibly loose. 29.53. That's terrible. So that's the best hooking torn one of the day up to this point. We get a big run on the 11. He's going to go high, which is odd. And we're just going to get around him. And this lap's going to be a 29.05. Not really. It's sided with that lap as we have a crash. Strauss spun. And we have another person on the apron. The 19 and Ryan comes back up the track and just f destroys us. Now we got two laps to go. This thing is still a handful. I just, I'm just trying to get one good lap in. I don't know if we can. But this thing is just slipping and sliding and doing all types of crazy crap. I've only got one shot at this. Coming to the white flag. One up to go in the key race. Presented by AutoZone. Hashtag cheap plug. So let's see if we can get a good toward one. That's okay. Not the best, but it's not the worst. I need a good turn three to stick this. Oh yeah, this is a stick. That's a stick. That's a stick. Now can we finish? No. <laughs> that was slow. <laughs> that was slow. A 29 0 that 
It's no braino. Just absolutely no braino. But what is braino? If you like is liking this video because you know uh if you like the video you can comment if you know if you like the video you might as well sub to the channel so you know why don't you just go ahead and do that right now as, as we're waiting for these results to come in i mean please i'm begging you please I mean, I don't know. You don't have to, but it'd be greatly appreciated. And anything y'all do is greatly appreciated. And I, and I appreciate it very much. So we get 8th at the old fault. Major got the pull at a 2877. We were off by 3 tenths. Not really surprised. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Texas... Texas is usually known for being in one of the craziest races of the year. And it might come... It Like, it's gonna come down to... Who can survive the most? Who can survive... And who can just pray and have it torn out as a benefit to them? Like I would. This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the Daytona the Talladega category, just for the fact that there is so much uncertainty. Like. I, I'm at, I'm surprised the amount of calamity and just craziness that happens each each time we go to the Lone Star State. It's just crazy, and I'm not expecting anything else in this race. So buckle up, boys. Gonna be a long one, and the green flag is out. So the plan is with all this craziness, I'm just gonna try to take this. As smooth as possible. If I find a hole, you know I'm gonna be taking it, but no unnecessary risk. Only risk that I deem good. As Scrib want walks up the racetrack, we're gonna get it two for the one at Applebee's. Oh contact! Oh we're gonna go full wide Scrib Titans cuddle owl. Well, you know, <sighs> you know, that unnecessary risk thing I just talked about, it'd be nice if, it'd be nice if other people got the memo. Like, I don't know what in the hell the seven was trying to do with that. But that just got everybody all sorts of adult. That just got everyone all sorts of bad. And now we got a big old mess. And now we are in 15th place. This is just wonderful, ain't it? So, and what makes it even worse is that this happened on lap three of the race. Well, that happened on lap one, going into lap two. And now we're pretty much stuck for this stage. Just, you know, we're just stuck. That's all you can really say. We're stuck. We're back in 15th. I don't think we're going to get any points or anything like that. I know y'all probably don't want to see it. 
And this is just stage one. There's, there's craziness bound to happen. So, what I think I'm going to do... Y'all don't want to see this. I'm actually going to skip... Or not skip, but... I mean, you'll see what I'll do. I'll talk to y'all in a second. And I am back, as we are battling Holling- We've been battling Hollingsworth for a second now. For the 12th position. There's two and a half laps to go in this stage, and I don't think anything's going to happen. But this is a pretty good battle. As he's going to try to pinch us down. But we just get that runoff. we got two laps to go. We're going to regain the 12th position, but I mean, this stage, this stage was doomed from the start with the, with the tight, I think that, uh, with the 7 deciding to just kill us, as we're coming to the white flag, one up to go in stage 1, presented by Subway, hashtag cheap plug. But yeah, we might get, I don't think we're going to get Palmetto for P11, or we'll, wa we'll wash it up, it's okay. But yeah. This is... I'm waiting for script to cross this finish, yep, there it goes. So we're, we're going to finish the stage in P12. Like I said, it was doomed from lap 1. When the seven just decided to make a risky situation into a cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest situation, and ended us and ended up with us going in straight into the fence. But good thing it's not the end of the race. It's stage one. Stuff can happen, and maybe, maybe we can pull something out of the, out of the, maybe we can pull something out of the hat right here and do something in this stage. Now, hopefully I didn't just jinx myself as stage two is now live. Like I said, it, it, please just make it. Be better than stage one. Well. Wait, are we all okay? We're all okay. Oh, scripts going crazy. Okay. And we're back to 12. Oh, we got... Oh, my God. How did I just... How did I... What? What? How did I not hit a thing? That's incredible. Texas. You gotta love Texas, man. <laughs> gotta love Texas. So we're in P9. 2.7 seconds from the pack. And 2.8, and I expect it to increase it just because. I mean, I'm all by myself. Oh, someone's in the grass. Someone's in the wall. And that would be Cuddle in the 8. Good job. He, good job that he didn't spin it or crash it. He just ran through the grass and lost all of his momentum. 
But yeah, the top six is pretty close to Gable. Oh, I thought someone was about to go crashing, but no. 16 to go. But DJ Craze, he he did lose a little, a little touch in that pack. And we all and I am catching that front pack. As I'm saying that we all catching Titans rule. That's who that was. But uh Yeah, Titans was that seven who decided to take us into cardiac arrest. On lap one, and just f destroyed our chances of getting any stage points. But unless something happens, which it which it can, I mean it is Texas. I feel like we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We are gaining on Titans quickly. We just got to get up to his bump. We haven't really passed anybody yet. Other than Hollingsworth in that last stage. But we just got to get. I just got to use the draft. Like I'm doing. Try to get the edge. And he's just going to give us the position. Thank you. And we are now up in the P7. For the boys. Now all, now all I can really do is just put down consistent lap times and just see what happens. As someone's crashing, one, two, three people crash. Four people crash. Oh my god. The 32 of Major, the 66 of Ryan... And somebody I didn't see, but I think it was DJ Craze. And all I gotta say is thank you very much. <laughs> Easy spots. Easy spots. So we are now in f fourth place. We are running down the leaders, though. What? Full step is running down that 95 of Rockstar, which some of y'all OG feels might recognize that name. And yes, that is the same guy. Just changed his name. But yes, yeah, some of y'all OG feels might know who Rockstar is. He is back for the season as I get a little high. He is back. He's been doing okay up to... He's been doing good up to this point. Hasn't really... You know, I think he's top 10 in points. At the time of this recording. It's really good. Trying to make that playoff... Playoff push. We got 9 laps to go now. I think entering this race, we were like 5th in points, so... And I can tell you that Hunty... Did lag out of this race. In the other lobby. Unlike... The sixth lap of the race. So he practically got no points. As I make a strat call right here. And I decide to come down pit road. Or well, I don't decide to come down. And I watch. Rockstar and Spank come down. Hollingsworth leaving the pits. I'm going to allow Ryan just to go on by. And with that said, I think Luch is going to come down pit road as well. I get a pretty good, that's a damn good entry on the pit road. Bye, your boy. Hopefully we can have a good pit stop that could suffice, that could suffice my need of getting up towards the front. That would be, that would be sweet. That would be, I mean, that'd be sweet. 
If you get a 9.3, <sighs> not really close enough to TG to really mean a damn. And no spank too, those rot stolen Inca, but Inca's a lap down. We are closer to the 95 than what we were, but as far as the stage, I think TG and Spank are too far out. I think that's a GG. Unless something happens, which you never know. Six laps to go. And Ryan's coming back onto the pits. We've been seeing Ryan a lot. Today at Texas. I like that 60 sit scheme. Not going to lie. But let's see here. Let's see if we can go catch that 95. We got 5 laps to go. The gap is shrinking. 4 tenths now. Is Inga going to give us. Yeah Inga's a nice guy. He's going to let us get. Oh, I have a tough time. I can't get the gas down. But we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Inga's a nice guy. He'll let us go. Oh, wait, that's a crash. Someone's flipping. Oh, we're going through the grass. Hello. Oh, my God. Wait, we saved it. Oh, well, oh my God. We're in second? What the hell? <laughs> we could actually win this stage. If we can just catch that 95. What the, what the hell happened? I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to go for the cultural. So, I got to catch that 95. A stage point, a playoff point is fat. I said oil in the, I said oil. You need, I need to take risks that are necessary. Well, this is an opportunity you can't pass up. And you see... Kleenex man's coming. The Kleenex man is coming, boys. <laughs> Two tenths. He washes up the track. Oh, we're going to get a run on him right here. One tenth. Oh, here we go, boys. Sizing him up. We're going to go down. He knows. Two laps to go. He's going all the way down. But I've got the momentum. I don't give a damn. We're going to go down. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. He's going to have to break. Well, he don't break. And got him. New Lidl. Kleenex man at the point. At the point. Indeed. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go in stage two. Presented by Bush's Baked Beans. Hashtag cheap plug. Can we just protect for one lap? Can we protect the 95? I know he's going to be coming for us. Cutto hits the wall. That's no problem. Someone's on the apron and someone's going high. And coming out of the torn, we gonna do it? Give it to the 37. We win the stage. Second stage of the year. What a time to be alive. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. We go from P12 to the stage win. Now, I don't know when the last time that's happened. In, su in such dramatic fashion. Was running fourth with five laps to go. Three seconds back. TG and Spank get killed in a wreck. Me and Rotstor go through the grass. And then me and, and me and Rotstor have a good duel. Old fashioned duel like they used to do it down in Texas. And I just had Uncle Mo with me. And just carried it in turn one. And that bitch stuck and we got the lead and we never looked back. Great job team. Great job everybody. Second playoff point is Owls. And I'm like, hey, who needs wins when you can just win stages? That's how you get your playoff points. Let's get the bread. Now, can we? hopefully we can do that for the final stage. 
Oh god, the final stage. Two pit stops! Let's get it. We have to control this restart. I kind of go a little high to force Rot sort of go a little high. So we go back down low quick. And we're going to be clear in turn one. Clear in sunny days. Me and TG have forced away from everybody else. That sounded gay, but we'll just. We'll, we're, we're live. Fuck it, we're live. As the two of us are just pulling away from everybody. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> they're, they're right there, bro. What are you doing? Again, we're live. You really can't fit live as this thing is loose at the moment. L oh, contact! And that kills momentum. As you can see, this track is all about momentum if you can't tell. TG's gonna go by. Major's gonna go by in that nice looking 42. I'm gonna have to get down in front of Scrub, make a move. We do. So this race has been crazy enough already. Anything else gonna happen? I don't know, that's the luxury of a race. You never know what's gonna happen until the very end. Until the fat lady sings, if you will. You got 40 Sid Slaps to go. Got hella time. All we have to do is just don't mess this up. Me and TG are side by side for P2. As he just continues to wash up the track. And we're going to get around him for P2. For the boys. And so... I'm just going to try to ride right here. Not do anything crazy. Or too crazy. But let's see what happens here. Yes, we're just riding behind. We're just riding this. Tr this five. This five core train. And if you look out the back. I think everybody else is. Disposed in the God knows well. As you got, as always, you have to make two pit stops at Texas. Oh, that's a bad turn three, boys. That was terrible. But you have to make two pit stops. The key is you gotta you gotta put yourself in position to win the race at the second after the second pit stop. And Scrap did not just literally I just fucking said Put yourself in a spot to win this race after the second pit stop. Bitch, I think I'm if I d uh <laughs> lag by the three puts us in the wall. And we probably just lost the draft. Yeah, we probably just lost the draft. Unless we get turbo engines strapped up in this Camaro, which I don't think is legal. By the NASCAR sofa rules and regulations, which, I don't know, bro. That is a really pissy... Bullshit way. Like that's. That is bad luck. We better. We better be able to catch back up into this pack. Or I'm going to be mad. Well I can't. I mean. There's really nothing I can do. I mean you know. I can't fit slag. For somebody else. It's just how the. It's just how the cookie crumbles, if you will.
But we could all we have all we can do is just make the best out of the situation. We all catching the ninety five. But with the pit stop coming, um I don't think we're gonna be able to get to him in the next couple of laps. Which would be when we make this pit stop. We got twenty eight laps to go. It's only two point three. But the problem is the top three are pretty much Yeah I, I mean this pits this pit this this pit stop Oh crash Oh my well there goes our drafting portal a potential drafting portal We gain a position but at what price? Cause now like I don't know what the hell happened with the forty three. Well here we go boys. This pit stop's probably gonna determine if I'm in this race. If I have a chance to win. I need a great pit stop right now, right here. For the love of everything that's nice and bright. Give me a good pit stop. Son of a bitch. 16 second pit stop. Right, you don't know how to have a three. Oh, let's just get in and get out as fast as we can. That's all we can do. Just go fast. And... Oh, they're getting away. Well, you know... You know? <sighs> this is cut this is not what we wanted. Everyone is spread out now. That is oh we'll lose. and I think cut poor cut was out of gas. That's a rip. Well, I'm looking at this interval, the TG and Scrib. Like, I think I'm long gone for P6 and P7. If TG and Scrib draft, it's pretty much a done deal. As far as me moving up positions. Cause we're pulling away from the we're pulling away from P five and six. You see the gaps up to five seconds back to P five. Oh, the gaps eight eight tenths of a second between two. Like, if TG and Scrib can find a... If they can draft together, that... I mean, yeah, like I just said, that would be the end. Because those two together... And not to even mention that Major Spy is like... I don't know. You can add another two seconds onto that. He's probably like four and a half... Like, it's that white... Dot. That's T. No. That bl that small black dot that's entering turn one. That's major. Then the white dot is TG. And then the next dot is Scrib. As we're gonna pass match right here. And you see the gap is up to seven and a half seconds. 
for P5. It's seven tenths with TG and Scrib. Those twenty laps left. Oh, it's six tenths. Oh gosh, if this thing gets with within a half a second, I'm screwed. Unless they crash, which I don't think they will because everyone is too spread out. But it is Texas. You never know about Texas. I will say. As Strauss is now into the top five. I notice. Nineteen laps to go. Oh, that's loose. But we catch it though. And I mean this is <sighs> Oh, they're within a half second now. They're drafting, aren't they? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it. Sooner rather than later, Scrub is gonna catch that draft. And he's going to pull straight to the back bumper of TG. And after that happens, there's pretty much nothing I can do. From... Like, they're going to need to crack. Okay, now T Scrib is starting to pull the TG's bumper within the interval. And, let's see. 17 laps to go. Yeah, you see that... You see the black dot and the white dot getting closer and closer. That's Scrib and TG. They're starting to draft with each other. The good news is, though, look at the gap between me and fifth. 8.6 seconds. That is a lot. <laughs> that is a hella. That's hella. That's hellas, as they say. And I got exactly 10 seconds for it on P6. So I'm not really worried about them. I'm worried about, well, I'm still four, four and a half seconds behind. That's the goodness. But the bad news is, I think P2 and P3, or I mean, I know they're drafting with each other. And that... It's going to make me a fairly lonely person on the racetrack. Very lonely. And sooner rather than later, it's going to be a three-person draft. And that, you might as well just submit my place in fourth place with a dang, um, Shorty. I will say this pit, I mean, I said last time the pit stop, I mean, the last pit stop did pretty much decide that I can't be a part of this race. This pit stop, for whatever it's worth, I mean, I don't know, something might happen. As we're going an extra lap, Teaching and scrub came down pit road. And we're coming down this time by. Because, I mean, we kind of have to. And here we come. Good entry. But, I mean, I don't know, bro. That. I don't know. And that makes it even worse. A 16.2. As we're heading back out onto the track, I mean, we'll full, <laughs> we didn't even change the position, basically. From the time we got in, 
Well, you know what I was trying to say. Well, 5.6 sec, 5.5 ahead, 6.5 behind, and how much laps? 11. You know, I'm a really lonely boy in this race. Ever since I got hit by a lag spike from the three that put me into the wall, I've been a real lonely boy. And, uh, you know, it's just a part of the deal sometimes. You get hit from a lag spike and you going up into the wall. Next thing you know, you're pretty much stuck in fourth place. But, uh, I don't know. I know y'all probably don't want to see this. It's kind of, it's high key boring. So let me just do y'all a favor. I'll be back in just a minute. And we back. There's two laps to go in the race. You still haven't missed a thing. I mean, it, TG went from first to third because of an alleged contact. As we're coming to the white flag, one up to go, sent by BJ's Travis or hashtag cheap plug. And unless something happens between TG, Ma oh, did Major just pass script for the win? I think he did. Oh, he did, boys. Yeah. So Major Spy, I mean, there's something for you. There's some action. Major Spy passes script on the final lap to win. Major wins. Script second. TG third. And like y'all have known for the past 20 minutes, we're going to get fourth. And who got fifth? Spank. Okay. So we get fourth. I mean, consider the craziness of Texas Motor Speedway. I'm going to take that and I'm going to run for the hills. And just, you know... I mean, you know, I will gladly take that and run. That's all you can really say about Texas. This place is crazy, and you saw the craziness, and we won a stage. We go from not getting a single stage point in stage one, and in stage two, we win the stage, and then stage three, lag spike killed us. But we do get a top five. Lovely. I thought our call was too loose. But that's usual. Not gonna lie. But yeah, there's nothing to hang our heads nothing to hang our heads about. We did a good job. And with this we're now second in points after the craziness of Texas of Hunty. Shorb among others doing doo doo. And with that said, I think we're gonna leave Texas. So thank you all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the video. I'll talk to you later and peace out.